This is an introduction to the UNSW TV project, the university's holistic solution for handling digital media. It offers three publishing strands, YouTube, iTunes U, and our own branded online channel, UNSW TV. So what are the relative strengths of these strands? YouTube is the most popular video website in the world. YouTube, along with Facebook and MySpace, is one of the leading Web2 social networking communities. Students love it. It's an excellent way to promote your research, as Professor John Foster found when seeking investors for his new Surgilux product. He'd spent four years trying to commercialise it. I then liaised with the media office. We got a media release that included um, press, uh, the YouTube video, and, and the next thing we know we end up with being bombarded with, with uh, emails and, and telephone calls from venture capitalists, commercial industry, uh, wishing to find out more about the research we were doing, the product we had, uh, and, and to support it. Lecturers such as Richard Buckland have also found it a great way to reach prospective students and highlight the value of teaching intensive academics. What we're trying to do is record the lecture video-wise in such a way that um, the students who can't come, and we've got particular students we're interested in, high school students, um, in such a way that those students can uh, get the a DVD of the lecture after the lecture and feel that they were still part of the experience, so that we want them to feel included. iTunes U suits the academic who wants a choice between private and public spaces for storing content. You can upload a range of digital media types, such as video, audio and PDFs. Once people subscribe, the material will automatically appear. It can then be downloaded to an iPod or laptop. Content is pushed to you, unlike YouTube, where you have to seek it out. This has great potential for collaborative research or communicating with alumni. There's a sliding scale of access. Some material can be open to the community, some open to a particular faculty, some material can be just for a particular course cohort. iTunes U offers better quality imagery and the advantage of mobility. So if your course content involves intricate detail, this is definitely the option for you. You may wonder why we need our own branded channel as well. YouTube brings up related links that are not necessarily desirable. We can control UNSW TV and offer contextual links that will drive traffic back to your website. Most importantly, it's a means of dealing with restricted material, content that would have legal implications if shown outside the course. Library Special Reserve material is one good example. UNSW TV will allow people off campus to view restricted digital content for the first time. Unlike iTunes, the material can be streamed, not downloaded. This adds to the level of security. UNSW TV will have robust digital rights management so that we can honour our obligations to Copyright Australia. It will always be up to academics to decide what level of access they want to grant for their material. UNSW is working on a simple wizard style interface to allow videos to be uploaded to the web. The UNSW TV project places us firmly in the new media realm. If you have a dynamic web environment that's a bit like YouTube or Facebook or MySpace, it allows the students to contribute uh, into a space that's shared with other students. And the web is a great, a great environment to do that because so much of what we do is now in that space and it's continuing to grow. When you're a teacher, you need to be able to communicate, you need to be able to show material um, that might be of an AV nature. Uh, you want students to be engaged in a dialogue. You want them to respond to you um, in a way that they're comfortable and that's productive. You want to be able to provide them a whole lot of resources. You want to be able to show them where to go on the web. With 
this type of technology, the computer gaming technology, they can uh, experience uh, their environment, their new building, their new factory, their new um, part of the city, uh, their new landscape, their new park, uh, in a way that um, they're familiar with. These are the sorts of approaches that are uh, useful to everyone regardless of what discipline you're in.